Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good day. So, for today, topics I'm going to discuss on uh, the chapter 8, which is on the boundary value problem. So, in this topic, actually what you're going to do is, uh, you're going to find the value of x uh, for a polynomial. So, basically, uh, in the boundary value problem, because the topic is about boundary, so meaning that in this uh, case okay you going to have uh, the value at the boundary condition which is for for example let's say you have a set of data okay over here so we know the x value and in this case you did not know what are the value in the middle okay but you been you will be given the value at the boundary which is for the x node and also at the x end okay uh, the value of fx for x node and also fx for the xn will be given in the equation. So since the value the value at the boundary is given, meaning that in this topic you're going to find the other's fx value, okay, for the equation. Okay, so this is where you're going to find it using the finite difference method. Okay, so basically in the finite difference method, you're going to have two formulas, which is the first derivative formula uh, or uh, y prime and also the second derivative formula which is the y double prime so this is the standard formula for y prime or for the first derivative and this is the standard formula for the second derivative so in this question or in this topic what you're going to do is you're going to find the value of the others x in the middle okay uh, between the two boundary using these two formula uh, by metric solution. Okay, in the boundary value problem, uh, the finite difference formula or solution requires to you to, to use or to choose either you need to use by with differentiation method or without differentiation method. Okay, for so how are you going to know that which method that you need to use eh, for the solution? So basically, you're going to look back at the boundary condition. If the value at the boundary is given as an equation, so meaning that you're going to use the uh, weight differentiation method solution. But if the value at the boundary condition is given in a, in a value or in certain value, which is fixed, okay, so you need to do uh, the uh, approximation by using without differentiation method formula. Okay, so however, for both method, you're going to use the same five general steps as I uh, note in my slide teaching slide. Okay, so the five general slide, uh, the five general steps is uh, that you have to take uh, uh, during the solution. And the first one is you have to draw the diagram ordinate, okay, and then you have to find the boundary value or the boundary equation, okay, and thirdly you have to write the equation in a finite different formula by include the finite different formula into the linear equation given by the equation. And then in the step four, what you're going to do, you're going to use back the finite different uh, equation that you have formed in step 3 okay and uh, you have to form it into a system of linear equation whereby at these steps you're going to choose okay either using with differentiation method or without differentiation method by replacing the i value accordingly okay and then finally after you have formed the system of linear equation then you're going to extract all the equation and do the metric solution using any suitable metric method eh, to find the value of x, eh, uh, sorry, of the fx or y okay, in between the two boundary that being given by the equation. Okay. So we're going to do one example eh, uh, for without differentiation and also with differentiation method so that you can more understand how to do the solution using boundary value problem. Okay, over here, this is the example that I give you in, this, in my slide. Okay.
Okay, so for example 8.3, we're going to do the solution for boundary value problem using without differentiation method. Okay, why that I'm going to use without differentiation method is look back at the boundary condition. Okay, so you have to look over here. So for this case, in this question, the boundary value is given in a numbers or in a value. Okay, in a fixed value. So meaning that you don't have to do any uh, approximation or you don't have you don't have to create a formula to find the value of the boundary okay so this is fixed value so if the value is fixed then automatically you're going to do the without differentiation method to do the solution okay so in this question the this is the uh, linear equation formula or linear regression formula given by the uh, uh, question uh, and then this is the uh, limits eh, for the for the data set okay for this question so from this equation you have to find the value of fx okay between x equal to 1 and 2 okay and it's also given in the question eh, the difference or the step size or top on the interval at the x axis is 0 0.2 okay uh, so first step what you need to do okay according to the to my slide first you have to draw the diagram ordinate so what you need to do over here okay so now you can estimate how to uh, you can sketch the diagram ordinate based on uh, the question given to you okay Okay, for this question, okay, so let's say you have a data set. This is your x axis, this is your y axis, or your fx. Okay, okay, so this is your data set limit. Okay, your data set limit is from 1 to 2, so meaning over here. Okay, this is 1, this is 2. Okay, the limit of the data set. Okay, so from this uh, from in between interval 1 and 2 you have another few intervals in between with the step size of 0 0.2 okay so you just create so meaning that your the numbers of uh, step that you're going to have will be uh, 2 minus 1 divided by 0 0.2 okay so you're going to have 5 okay 5 sets so, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, this is 1. This will be 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6, 1 1.8, and 2. So, the value of the interval is h equal to 0 0.2. Okay? So, this is the same lah. Okay, so this is the sketch of your diagram ordinate. Okay, next, you have to find the boundary values. So, for this question, the boundary value is given. Okay, for y, 1, eh, when x equal to 1, the y or the y axis value or fx value is 1.5. So, from here, you know. Okay, so over here. The y value is 1.5 and at when x equal to 2, the y value is 15. So, over here somewhere, the y value is 15. So, meaning that over here, okay, the boundary value for y, 1 is 1.5. And just write back what you have in the equation. For y, when x equal to 2, the value at boundary is 15. So, this is your boundary condition value. Okay, now we go to the step 3 is to write the equation infinite difference formula. Okay, what you have here, this is the equation. So, this is the formula that being given by the equation. So, you have to rewrite back eh, this equation in a finite different formula. So, just write back your formula over here. So, y double prime minus xy prime plus 3y ok 
Okay, you bring hash x, eh, 11 x to the left. So this is positive. This will be negative hash uh, 11 x equal to zero. So this is your equation. Okay, so from this equation, you have to replace the y double prime and y prime value okay, to the value given by the finite different formula, whereby the y prime value is yi plus 1 minus yi minus 1 divided by 2 hash, and the y double prime value is yi plus 1 minus 2yi plus yi minus 1 divided by hash square. So, you will use these two formula substitute into your equation 1. Okay. So, what you will do is, okay, this is y double prime. Okay. So, write the equation here. Okay. Yi plus 1. Okay. So, yi plus 1. Minus 2yi plus yi minus 1 divided by hash square. So this is for y double prime. And then minus x. The y prime is yi plus 1 minus yi minus 1 divided by 2 hash. Okay. This is x. Okay. Plus 3y minus 11x equal to 0. So, this is your finite difference formula equation. Okay, whereby you have substitute the value of y double prime and also y prime into this equation 1. Okay, so the next step is you have to simplify this equation, this equation into the most simpler uh, formula in the forms of uh, uh, y, y in the form of uh, y, i and x equation uh, format. Okay. Okay. So, you need to simplify, simplify this uh, equation okay, by substitute the value of h equal to 0 0.2 and make the equation in a y equal to x form or format. Okay, so for these steps, you can refer to my slide in the page 8. Okay, so finally, you will, you will get this formula as a final, uh, final equation eh, for you to do the, uh, for you to, uh, to form it into a matrix solution later on. Okay, using either with differentiation method or without differentiation method. So, now, from this final equation, okay. We're going to do the step four to make it as a matrix solution. Okay, now we are in the step four. Okay, in the step four, what you need to do and eh, from the step three, uh, the final equation is step three. You have to replace the value i, okay, using without differentiation method. Okay, why we need to use without differentiation method in this case, as I have mentioned before, because for this question, you have been given the value of f x. Uh, at x node or the value of y node eh, which is 1.5 and also the value for fx5 or uh, y5 equal to 15 okay so meaning that you already know the value of y or fx uh, at the boundary condition that's why you only need to find the value of the others uh, fx yeah, in between these two boundary okay so in the calculation in the step four in the step four you don't have to do eh, the replacement of i for these two boundary condition okay only for the value in between which is when x equal to uh, when i equal to one two three and four okay so in this table okay again i i like to use table because this will be uh, this will be more organized. Eh? This will show a more organized uh, solution in your answer. So from this, uh, in this table, okay, first you write back the equation that you get the final equation from your step three. Eh? This is the equation from your step three. Okay. So for the first case, you have to find the value of f x when x equal to one, and eh, when i equal to one. 
Okay, so you're going to find for i equal to 1 over here. Okay, so this is the metric. And then replace every i that you have in the equation. Okay, all i replaced by value 1. Okay, so just replace i equal to 1 over here. So you will have y2, 1 minus 0 0.1 x1 plus y2 eh, sorry uh, 1 i minus 1 uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 y0 ok so 1 plus 0 0.1 x1 minus 1.88 y1 equal to 0 0.44 x one okay so i replace the value of i over here uh, into one so this is what you're going to have or what you're going to get okay so from this uh, equation now you have to define one by one what are the value that you have eh, that you know the value and what are the value that you have which you do not know the value okay so from here Okay, do you know the value of x1? Sure, you have right. Because from here, you know the x1 value is 0 point, uh, sorry, 1 point, uh, 1 point 2. Okay, here is 1 point 2. So, go back to the first, first uh, uh, diagram ordinate that you have over here. Okay, this is your x0. This is x1, x2 x3, x4 and x5. Okay, this is your y0 or y0. This is your y5 value. Okay, so this is all the value that you have. Okay, and then you just replace over here. Lah. Okay, so from here, okay, you know value of x1. You know value of x1. And then you also know the value of x1 over here. Okay, so simplify again this question. Okay y2 equal to 1 minus 0 0.1 x1 is x1 is 1.2 okay plus y naught 1 plus 0 0.1 times x1 is 1.2 minus 1.88 y1 equal to 0 0.44 x Eh, sorry, x1 is 1.2. Okay. So, now again, simplify this question okay, in the form of y. Okay. So, after you replace the value of x that you have over here and simplify the, the, the equation, the second equation. So, you will get y2 times 0 0.88 okay, plus y naught times 1.12 minus 1.88 y1 equal to 0 0.528 and then look back all the y over here and eh? list down all the y so you have over here you have y naught okay at note and eh? column you have to uh, list down all the y that you have so you have y naught and then you have y1 and you also have y2 Okay, so this is all the y. Okay, knowing that your the value of y naught is given by the question A, which is 1.5. Okay, the value of y1 and y2 is the value that you don't know in this question. Okay, because you can see back on your, on the step 1 in the diagram ordinate. Okay, the value in the bit, in the middle or between the two boundaries eh, which is the y1 y2 y3 and y4 this is all the unknown value that you're going to find find in this solution okay so meaning that y1 you don't know y2 also you don't know okay and you have to form the equation in a form of y1 and y2 so that you can do the matrix solution later on in the step four 
Okay, so after you simplify the equation, the third equation over here. So this is your final equation yeah, in the form of linear system of linear uh, in the form of linear equation. So the final equation number one that you create from the first i okay, is negative 1.88y1 plus 0.88y2 equal to negative 1.152. Okay, this is the equation one. So what you need to do next is you have to repeat eh, the same steps eh, over here, okay? But for the rest of i value, which is i two, i three, and i four, okay? So you have to repeat again the same step, eh? But the uh, in the the other steps, eh, you have to replace the i equal to two, three, and Four. So you have another three uh, step uh, or three uh, parts or three stage that you have to do the uh, you have to form the equation eh, for the rest of the i value. Okay, so that you will get all the uh, you will get four equation and you four linear equation and you're going to form it into one system of linear equation which contain uh, y one until y four. Okay, that you're going to find using the metric solution. Okay, so for the steps eh, in uh, for the step to form the linear equation number 2, 3 and 4, you can refer to my slide page 9 and also page 10 eh, for the details uh, solution. Okay, so I can summarize eh, the from that steps. Eh, so you're going to form four system uh, four linear equation. Okay, the first one is this one. Okay, this is linear equation one, which you're going to form after you replace the i value equal to one. So, this will be the linear equation number two, and eh, after you replace the i value equal to two, and then this is the linear equation number three after you replace the i value equal to three, and then this is the fourth linear equation that you form from the i value equal to four. Okay, so in the node side or in the node column, eh, you just list down all the y value that you don't know or you know so that you can replace it, uh, you can know which y that you're going to find in the metric solution later on in step 5. Okay, so to find or uh, to look at the detailed solution, you can go to my slides, page number 9 and number 10. Okay, now we are in the final step which is step 5. Okay, so... In step 5, you're going to find the value of yi or the fx value for i equal to 1, 2, 3, until n minus 1, which is exclude the boundary uh, boundary values, okay, using any suitable metric solution. Okay, what you have to do over here, in the step 3, okay, uh, sorry, in the step 4, you already form, eh, in the equation, you already form 4 linear equation, okay, linear equation 1. 2, 3, and also 4. Okay, all these 4 linear equation, you bring to step 5, okay, and you list all the equation over here. Eh? This is equation number 1. This is equation 1. This is equation 2, 3, and also 4. Okay, now you have uh, rewrite the 4 linear equation from the previous steps, and then you change this equation in a metric format. Okay, so rewrite it in a metric format. Okay, so this in a metric format. All the value that you don't have over here, okay, you just replace by zero. Okay, and in the metric format, this is how you write it. Okay, and from here, you can choose any suitable metric that you have learned before to do the solution, solution and to find the value for y1, y2, y3, y4. Okay. So, I remind back on the value that you're going to find is actually all values in the bit, in the middle eh, except for the value at the boundary which you already have okay, and given by the question. So, those y value over here is what you're going to find in the step 5. Okay? So, choose any suitable metric solution to do the approximation and uh, you can get the value of the y1 until y4 okay, uh, as uh, I write in my slide. Okay, you can refer to my slide page eleven. Okay, for the answer.
Okay, I did not write the I did not write the whole metric solution for you because you have learned it before. So I want you to choose the best suitable method to find the value. Okay, so this is for a uh, boundary value problem. Okay, using without differentiation method. Okay, so please remind. Ah, uh, please re uh, remember. Okay, if you are using without differentiation method, meaning that ah uh, the value of y one or the value of y at the boundary condition is given to you okay it's not in the form of equation if the value is not given you have to find it using uh, differentiation method okay so this is without differentiation method okay so thank you so i'm going to continue with the second example on with differentiation method